Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover fraction word problems involving addition and subtraction. We'll start with a couple of examples of addition and then move on to some examples of subtraction. Let's jump into number one where we have James walked his dog two-fifths of a mile in the morning and one-third of a mile in the afternoon. What fraction of a mile did James walk his dog in total that day? So here we need to add to find our answer. We need to take the distances, the morning and the afternoon, and combine them in order to find the total distance. So two-fifths of a mile in the morning plus one-third of a mile in the afternoon. Now taking a look at this problem, we do not have a common denominator, so we need to find one in order to add. So we need a common denominator, 4, 5, and 3, in order to add these fractions. 15 is going to be the lowest common denominator here between 5 and 3. So let's rename these fractions with that common denominator. So our next step here is to rename these fractions with that common denominator of 15. And remember, these are going to be equivalent fractions once we rename. So we're not changing the value of our original fractions. Let's start by renaming 2 fifths. We know that 5 times 3 gives us that denominator of 15. So whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator in order to keep this equivalent. So we need to do 2 times 3. 2 times 3 gives us 6. That's our numerator. 6 fifteenths is our renamed fraction with the denominator of 15. Now we need to rename 1 third. 3 times 5 gives us that denominator of 15. So whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator in order to keep this equivalent. So we need to do 1 times 5. That gives us a numerator of 5. So our renamed fraction here is 5 fifteenths. Now that we have a common denominator, we are able to add. So we do 6 plus 5. That gives us a numerator of 11, and we keep the denominator of 15 the same. And this is the total distance walked that day. James walked his dog 11 fifteenths of a mile. Now 11 fifteenths is in simplest form, so we do not need to simplify here. Let's move on to number two, where we have a chef will be using one eighth of a cup of Parmesan cheese and three fourths of a cup of cheddar cheese for a recipe. How much cheese will be used in total? The cheeses are being combined into this recipe. We need to find the total by adding. So we need to do one eighth of a cup of Parmesan cheese plus three-fourths of a cup of cheddar cheese. We do not have a common denominator, so that's what we need to do first in order to add. The lowest common denominator for eight and four is eight. So let's rename both of these fractions with that denominator, and then we can add. So again, our lowest common denominator is eight here, so let's rename these. Let's start with one eighth which that already has a denominator of eight. So we do not need to rename one eighth. Now for three fourths. Well, we know four times two gives us that denominator of eight. Whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator in order to keep this equivalent. Three times two gives us six. So six eighths is our renamed fraction. Now we have a common denominator, so we can add. Let's add the numerators. 1 plus 6 gives us 7, and then we keep the denominator of 8. So our answer here, 7 eighths. 7 eighths of a cup of cheese will be used 
for this recipe. That's the total amount of cheese used in this recipe. And 7 eighths is in simplest form, so we do not need to simplify here. So there are the addition examples. Let's move on to subtraction. So here are our subtraction examples. Let's jump into number one, where we have Caleb hiked one half of the trail. AJ hiked four fifths of the trail. How much more of the trail did AJ hike than Caleb? We are finding the difference between the amount of the trail Caleb hiked and the amount of the trail AJ hiked. Whenever we find the difference between two values, we subtract. Now AJ hiked more of the trail, so that's the fraction that's going to come first. Four fifths is greater than one half. So we need to do four fifths minus one half. Now we do not have a common denominator here, so we can't subtract quite yet. We need to find a common denominator for five and two, and then we can subtract. 10 is going to be our lowest common denominator between five and two. So let's rename these with that common denominator of 10. Now keep in mind, these are going to be equivalent fractions once we rename them. So we're not changing the value of our original fractions. Let's start by renaming four fifths. We know that five times two gives us that denominator of 10. Whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator in order to keep this equivalent. So four times two, that gives us eight. Our renamed fraction with the denominator of 10 is eight tenths. And again, this is an equivalent fraction. So we're not changing the value of anything here. Now for one half, we know that two times five gives us that denominator of 10. Whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator in order to keep this equivalent. So we need to do one times five. That gives us five. So our renamed fraction here is five tenths. Now we are ready to subtract since we have a common denominator. So we'll start by subtracting the numerators. Eight minus five gives us three. And then we keep our denominator of 10. So our answer is three tenths. So to answer the question, how much more of the trail did AJ hike than Caleb? Well, three tenths of the trail. Now three tenths is in simplest form, so we do not need to simplify here. Now let's move on to number two, where we have Ava had seven eighths of a gallon of paint. She used two thirds of a gallon for a home project. How much paint does Ava have left? So Ava started with seven eighths of a gallon of paint and then used two thirds of a gallon. So we are subtracting here. We're starting with seven eighths of a gallon and subtracting two thirds of a gallon to see how much paint is left. Now, do we have a common denominator here? No, so we can't subtract yet. So we need to find a common denominator and rename these fractions with that common denominator. The lowest common denominator for eight and three is 24. So let's rename both of these fractions with that common denominator of 24. We'll start with seven eighths. We know that eight times three gives us that denominator of 24. That means we need to multiply the numerator by three as well in order to keep this equivalent. Seven times three gives us 21. So 21 24 is our renamed fraction. Now for two thirds, we know that three times eight gives us 24. So we need to do that to the numerator as well in order to keep this equivalent. Two times eight gives us 16. So 16 24 is our renamed fraction. 
And now both fractions have been renamed with that common denominator of 24. So we have a common denominator here. We can subtract now. Let's start with the numerators. 21 minus 16 gives us 5. And then we keep our denominator of 24 the same. So we get 5 24ths. So to answer the question, how much paint does Ava have left? Well, 5 24ths of a gallon. And 5 24ths is in simplest form. So there you have it. There are some examples of fraction word problems involving addition and subtraction. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.